Hello, folks! Report Portal is with you again to describe a new versions 5.4 and 5.5. You might ask why are these versions so important that we decided to make a separate video. Let me share a few quick facts about the new versions. Looks intriguing, doesn't it? Today we will talk about the main changes to the report portal and ensure that all these facts are true. Let's start with performance updates. In version 5.4 we have made a refactoring of clean jobs. Before the jobs were one of the reasons for significant performance degradation. In 5.4 we have created a new separate high-performance service that helps us to reduce the database workload five times and to reduce jobs duration. The graph below shows how it compares to the old implementation on up to one terabyte data amount. Only 15 minutes is needed for a 17 plus million logs cleaning per execution. This allows us to call version 5.4 the most stable one. And what about version 5.5? Version 5.5 has the maximum system throughput via sync and async reporting. Since version 5.1, RPS is increased significantly. The total virtual users count has gone up 3 to 5 times. The table shows the minimum and maximum system capacity for a large server type on a version 5.5 in sync and async modes. Capacity performance testing load graphs for sync and async modes also look great. All the responses have practically identical values at the beginning and the end of the capacity test on the 895 GB database size. All tests have been done on the AWS RDS PostgreSQL database DB.M5.4xLarge, 16 CPU cores and 64 GB of memory, and got an excellent load by all of the system resources, especially by CPU. The maximum database CPU load was up to 14%. Now let's move on to the functional update in version 5.4. We have made some visual changes in the log view to simplify this very informative page and, of course, to add more information. We have added an option to view parent launch attributes of execution in the history line. This will allow users to define build number, platform or environment of execution right in the log view. In the previous versions, users were able to check only the last 10 executions. In version 5.4, the history line can show up to 30 latest executions. Finally, we have added a functionality that allows upload executions from different launches to the history line. By default, the history line contains executions only from launches with the same name. However, if you enable history across all launches, a system will add executions from different launches to the history line. By hovering your cursor, you can find the launch name and launch attributes. This feature is from version 5.5. Defect Editor module is one of the most crucial parts of the application. According to our analytics, it's the most popular feature among Report Portal users. Our team was faced with a really challenging task of keeping the logic simple and yet supporting every possible way to investigate the failures. The result of our work is the new Make Decision module. I have to admit, our team is absolutely thrilled with this feature. It's smart, stylish and I think it's a fantastic combination. Make Decision contains two big sections sources of possible defects and the target where the defect should be applied. Let's check the left part of the module. It contains the following sources for defects. Known issues which have similar errors and are already investigated by users. These issues are also called ML suggestions. 
and standard project defect types. The first option is the machine learning suggestions, a brand new and killer feature of the report portal. ML suggestions searched for similar previously analyzed items to the current test item. The section shows the five most suitable tests with failure similarity equal to or more than 40%. In the right part of the module you can find different options as to where the chosen suggestion can be applied. The first option is the current execution only. You can open a detailed view and retrieve error logs for the current analyzed test to compare with ML suggestions logs and make your final decision. Other options. Similar errors in the current launch, in the last 10 launches and in the last 10 launches among the applied filters. All these options have the same logic as in the previous versions. When the user applies ML suggestion to the selected item or items, the system copies the defect type and defect comment. It also links to BTS from the suggestion and updates the selected items. The analyzer retrains the ML model which makes any future runs of the analysis more accurate. These are the main features of Report Portal. We have received numerous requests like this one. Too many clicks to select the type of defect. Reduce number of clicks. And ta-da! We have reduced by one click. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new quick and easy way to change defect types. First open, second choose, third apply. Bingo! You might have missed the copy defect type option in the log view. Do you think we've removed this feature forever? Of course not. We have moved it to the make decision module and this feature has become even more flexible. Now you can choose any defect type from the history line and send it to everyone to investigate the items in the history line. This feature also allows applying the necessary defect type to all unknown failures in the history line in just a few clicks. Make Decision has a special view for bulk operation. Now users can see all error logs for selected items, compare them and uncheck the unnecessary tests. Using a browser search you can find the required word combination and this is pretty cool. The top 20 most time-consuming test widget allows to find 20 tests with the longest duration and track this information on the graph or in the table. The widget is configurable and you can choose tests with the required status – past, failed or both. Also, you can add or remove before and after methods from the widget view. In the previous versions, the bug tracking issue filter was used to show tests with or without an issue in Jira. But starting from the version 5.5, you can filter tests using the issue number. You need to track how many tests have an open issue in Jira with the number XXX, then just add the number to the filter and check the list. Filter supports different options with all issues with any issues, without all and without any. This feature is for those who want to create a link to the launch and the launch start. Now the report portal supports a filter based on UUID. Just add UUID instead of launch ID and the system will open the required launch. Here's a small improvement for those who report error logs to the test description. The earlier description filter had a limit of 16 symbol maximum. Now the maximum is increased to 256. This way you can filter your tests and find similar issues quicker.
check our landing page and GitHub, see the link in the description and find new integrations with test framework. If you cannot find your frameworks, let us know in the comment section. Also, we have written documentation and examples for a custom plugin for those of you guys who want to implement your plugins for the report portal. Please check the documentation for more details. All the links are, I guess by now you know where to find them. We work with various integrations and plugins. However, if you need something special or your integrations require some changes, we offer paid plans and support. Feel free to just drop us an email, all the details are in the description, or leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for being with us today. If you have any questions, let us know, and we will be happy to help. Goodbye, your report portal.